So welcome back everybody, Mike here. It is January 1st, 2018, New Year's Day. So I want to wish everybody a happy new year first off. Uh, I'm suffering from a little bit of cabin fever, I guess you could say. It's been so cold lately, I haven't got a lot done, and I got sick of sitting in the house. So I figured I'd get out here and take a ride on the side-by-side -side and uh, see what's going on in the woods. Haven't been out here for a few days. I would like to cut some firewood, but I would also like to use the tractor to do so. And some of my trails here, the hills are very steep. I got some real steep slopes. And uh, with this frozen ground and a little bit of snow, it's a little too dangerous for the tractor. Now I did a video this past summer, I think it was called Brush Hogging Steep Slopes or something like that. And you know, there's a few comments where people didn't think the slopes were even steep at all. And that's just because in video, it's kind of hard to show that. So today, I'm gonna to show you one of the steeper parts of the property, you know, where one of my trails is and it's pretty much the maximum of what I feel comfortable with on my tractor in good conditions when it's dry out. Now, if you watch my other videos, you know I have a Kubota L3901 and I've got the R4 tires. Uh, ag tires would probably be a little bit better, but even in conditions like this, that it really wouldn't help much because we had a real cold spell there before the snow even came so the ground's very frozen frozen solid you got leaves on it and then snow on top of it and you don't get much traction even with chains I would not want to go down this hill behind me uh, on my tractor today there's no way uh, I can make it up and down in the side by side but you can kind of steer your way out of it and throttle your way straight if you have to but the tractor is just uh, not you know can't quite handle this steep of a slope so what I want to do is show you how to measure how steep your slopes are and, I'll, uh, and then we'll go from there. So to determine what percent of slope you have on your roads or trails or whatever, you need three things. You need a straight edge, longer the better. This is a 10 foot 2 by 4. Need a level and a tape measure. So you want to get your uh, straight edge level, which is right there. Measure straight down at the end. So I have 38 inches in 10 feet. So like I said, that two by four is 10 feet long. That's 120 inches. That's your run. The horizontal is the run. The rise is how far it is from the ground up to the two by four at the end when it's level. That's the rise. It's 38 inches. So the percent of slope on that section of trail right there, you take the rise, 38 inches, and divide it by the run, 120 inches, and that's uh, it's about 31.6% slope. And so that's a pretty steep trail. And like I was saying, that's about the max that I can run my Kubota L3901 on in good conditions. And that's when it's dry. When it's the ground's frozen and the snow like this, I'm just going to slide down over the hill. And it wouldn't end well. So uh, that's why I'm not out here cutting firewood today. I think eventually what I'm going to do, maybe this spring, is uh, bring that trail, this steepest part, in from a different direction. I'll show you. Uh, you can see the house over there is bring the trail from right up there about the same grade as what the house is on and run it around the top of the hill and bring it right back down through here and eliminate this real steep section right down in there. So in review, this is about a 31, almost 32% slope on this trail right here and that is the max that I can safely run my Kubota and I can go up or down it, frontwards or backwards, and with the load, anything more than that, it's a little too much for that tractor, uh, especially when the conditions are like they are right now. Summertime, it's not a big deal, but if it's wet, icy, snowy, something like that, I can't really run on it like that safely. Uh, it's just not gonna work out. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe and hit the like button and uh, share them with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.